Let's talk about light. Light guides our biology. The external light in our environment hits different light receptors on the skin, enters the eye, and hits those melanopsin receptors in the back of the eye, in that retina, that thin layering of the eye. And that information is sent throughout the body. It guides our hormone balance, our inflammatory state, our metabolic state, our neurotransmitter state. It guides biological action, digestive function, respiratory function, cardiovascular function, immune system function. It has a guiding influence over our overall biology. It has a huge influence on our state of inflammation and health and wellness. When we get natural light in our environment that matches the seasons, when we get outside in nature and we are aligned with that circadian rhythm, getting light in the AM, getting light throughout the day and lowering the lights at night, it has a dramatic impact on our overall health. The same can be said for an adverse effect from artificial lighting. When we grab our phones first thing in the morning and our eyes are flooded with that artificial light, that narrow band of blue light, telling our body that it is noon, that we need to dump cortisol, that we need to increase our inflammatory state, decrease our metabolism, all of those things have a negative impact on our biology. And so many of us awake to artificial lighting, spend our day in artificial lighting. And when the sun goes down, we still are being surrounded by that artificial light. Simple steps like getting out upon waking in the natural light, even if it's in the shade, we are still enveloped by these incredible light frequencies that guide our biology in a beneficial manner. Taking natural light breaks throughout the day, eating outside, taking a call outside, taking your break outside. These can have a dramatic impact on your overall biology. And then lowering the lights at night, moving to softer tones, moving to an orange light, a salt lamp. There are specialty lights out there on the market that don't have any blue light and mimic the light that we would see at sunset or sitting by a fireside. And it's not just the external light in our environment that guides our biology. Within us, our cells emit light. We have an intricate and sophisticated light communication network happening in the body. Our DNA, our mitochondria, our cells emit their own form of light called biophotons. Now this is the work of pioneering scientists and researchers such as Professor Gertwitz, who took onion roots and put them in quartz cuvettes, jars basically, and they were able to create rapid growth because of the light communication. Whereas when he put those onion roots in opaque jars that did not let the light communication travel between the two onion roots, the roots of the onions didn't grow. And this led to some incredible work by researcher Fritz Albert Pop and his incredible work. He was the one who first coined the term biophotons, but it looks like we have this incredible environment of light communication in the body between our cells, between mitochondria, between neurons, and how it is acting as a potential communication network. These light signals, these light emissions happening within our body are not random. They're coherent and seem to act as a communication network. We are truly light beings and it's time that we tend to that. It's time that we respect our circadian rhythm, like we talked about before, getting out in the morning, taking natural light breaks at throughout the day, lowering the lights at night, as well as supporting our DNA and our mitochondrial health so that we have optimal biophoton emission. This is crucial and foundational for our health. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.